Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had a viewer ask me a couple questions about dishwashers and in particular the dishwashers that have the large plastic outer box. One of his questions was are they even worth taking as scrap and my answer is yes. Anything that has scrappable value or scrappable metals is worth taking, is better than nothing. But the difference with these types of dishwashers is you can bring them into the scrapyard as is. However, you are not going to get paid traditional appliance weight price, which is about five to six cents a pound, because of all the extra plastic on this. You're probably going to get about two to three cents a pound, which is still better than nothing. But in my opinion, they are very much worth taking apart, separating the material, and easily upgrading the value of this and maximizing your profit. So as you can see behind me, I actually have two of them. I have taken one apart. I'm gonna show you the goodies that are found on this, talk about how to separate it properly, and show you, yes, that they are worth taking. I do have a separate video actually taking apart a dishwasher that has the metal backing, which as well is definitely worth taking apart as well. But these ones, as I said, a lot of plastic, unfortunately, a lot of garbage, but still being able to divert as much of this away from the landfill as possible is better than nothing. Gonna start first actually with opening these up. And you always have your, if I can open this one, your racks. Your racks, I've already taken two of them here. These are very heavy. And I will note that both of these dishwashers actually weigh 55 pounds. Um, so there's definitely a lot of weight to these. These racks, as you can see, they are thick plastic. But if I put a magnet to them, the magnet does stick. And that is because there is metal underneath these racks. And these racks right now as is, are gonna go actually as tin or shred, which is actually about 10 to 13 cents a pound. These are heavy, there's about 10 pounds right here. And I have also seen, while I'm on this topic here of the racks, I have seen people sell these online, different parts for particular models. So parts like this that are in good workable condition, clean, um, they are on Kijiji at times, so that is definitely an option with you. I do know that a lot of this plastic, because it is thick, you can also see it going uh, to the recycling um, facility, which is also great because it keeps it out of the landfill. But your racks, these are unfortunately very dirty. Uh, there is some wear on the plastic here. But again, I also don't even have to take that little piece of plastic off. This is going to go into my tin pile. <clears throat> I have also removed the door. You do want to check the door. Sometimes these doors will be stainless steel. So this does have two panels to it. This one, I, as you can see, it sticks. This is also going to go into my tin or shred pile for 10 to 13 cents a pound. If I was to put a magnet to this and it did not stick, it would be stainless steel. And stainless steel right now is going for both. 77 cents a pound, which is an excellent price. So you definitely want to make sure. Uh, but as I said, any type of magnetic force, it's going to go into tin shred. The inner panel, these panels as well, as you can see, is tin, if I put a magnet to it. And these do have a lot of nice uh, mechanisms to it. There is definitely a control panel that goes with this. Um, that you have right here. I'm gonna bring this up to the camera. There's two of them. This one, uh, I actually, if any types of push buttons, you hear a click to them. These do have a small bit of silver inside of them. For me, they're not worth opening up. This will go as e-waste or circuit board price, which is about, um, I've seen five to six cents a pound where I go. Some places you'll get up to 20 cents a pound depending on the precious metals on these circuit boards. This one, is a really nice one. You have a nice transformer here. This is gonna have number two copper in it. And I do actually have a video on taking apart transformers like this. Very easy to do, very much worthwhile doing because of the copper prices these days. Number two copper right now is going for $4.85 a pound in London, Ontario. If I was to just leave this transformer and bring it in as is, there are separate categories for transformers. It would give you transformer weight price. 
um, which is about 10 to 15 cents a pound. There are also, as you can see here, three black boxes and one white one. These are called relay boxes. I call them silver contact boxes. Each one of these, when you break them open, there's a small spool of uh, copper, as well as a silver contact. And I actually have one here. As you can see, that dot right there, um, that is a little bit of silver. So I always break these off and I will put them into a small vial, collect them, and hopefully later I will make a silver bouillon. But silver contact boxes, great source of silver and a little bit of copper. As well, you do see some wire on here, and I am gonna talk about this wire in a bit, but you can see the copper inside of that. Um, copper, that is for that. Um, this wire, actually I will talk about right now. This wire is what we call um, appliance wire. This would give me 60% appliance wire price, which is currently right now $2.60 a pound. And scrapyards look at two things when they look at appliance wire. They look at copper to plastic ratio and copper recovery. Because these are all individual strands that have uh, copper inside with one coating of plastic, there is more copper and this would be 60% wire. This one, however, this is your main wire that goes all the way through the door, connects to your circuit board. This, unfortunately, because it has the individual strands with wire, as well as this outer coating here, this, because it has more plastic, less copper recovery, is going to be classified as 40% appliance wire and is currently going for $1.68 a pound. The funny thing about this, interesting thing, if I want to maximize this, I've already removed the tape around this. Watch this. To go from 40% to 60%, slide this off. There's a little bit of tape, there we go. This is gonna be removed. Now I only have one coating of plastic. Look at that, I just upgraded that from $1.60 a pound to a $2 and, or $1.68 a pound to $2.60 in the matter of two seconds. So that's one thing you do wanna make sure you check. Other types of 40% are microwave cords, vacuum cleaner cords. They have the outer plastic and inner wires with coating on it. So you definitely wanna make sure you separate this. But again, this is some great wire here. They do have some nice silver contacts on here as well. You do wanna remove these, put these into your um, relay box recovery. I have seen people as well that remove the little bit of brass on these, these prongs. This is brass. Some people leave it on as the weight. But a really nice cord that goes through. And as I said, this does add up in weight. Uh, a lot of the stuff in here, there is going to be a motor in here. You're going to have a heating element. This heating element is the same thing as, for example, same category as when you have stoves, your inner uh, elements, you have uh, burners on top of stoves. It is not magnetic on this one. Um, there is definitely a wire that goes through there. There's a coating. This uh, I believe is going for about six to 10 cents a pound with all your uh, stove elements. So I just put this off to the side. Um, I have a separate category of bin for these. And these actually do have as well some brass on the bottom. I have removed the two little screws here. You can see they come off of that. There is some yellow brass. This is not heavy, but yellow brass right now is going for $3.85 a pound. I just put it into a bin and it definitely adds up. So a little bit of brass there. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this one. You can see obviously with this one, when you turn it over, this is where your motor is. You've got two different motors. And the one motor I do wanna look at for sure is this little one here. And the nice thing about these is, if I turn it up to the camera, you can see there are two spools of copper in there. I have opened it for the sake of this video from this one, so it reveals two of these. And all I'm actually gonna do, you can see some brass on there, some prongs, yellow brass, I will break those off. But very simple to get this copper off. Just gonna take a pair of side cutters, peel off this plastic. You can see it just folds off very easily and Watch this, 
There we go, just gonna take it up to the camera. And it just slides off. Okay, very simple. You gotta be careful you don't get it caught on the prongs there, but look at that. So this is gonna be number two copper. Someone might say, if you're new to scrapping, this looks like bare bright. Bare bright only pertains to copper wire that is thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. So all of this is number two copper. But again, I'm not gonna complain at $4.80 a pound. So awesome. And there are two of these. <clears throat> Make sure you get all of it. I do have a really nice bag of this stored up. Easy place to get it. As I said, I wanna get those yellow prongs, break those off, put that into my brass. And there are two motors, as I said on there. The main motor, there are different types of motors. This one actually had a really weird motor to it. Uh, I broke it off. And again, very easy to do. All they are screws, which I will talk about right here. I always have my screws in a container when I'm working, as well as your tracks for your um, basket there. These all have the screws in them. They are all magnetic. Screws are another great source of tin shred. I always put them into a bucket and I will transport them that way. So um, if they are in good working condition, you can also use them again, but I have tons of them. The motor, once I broke the plastic off there, it does have a steel shell and there is right here a copper core. Uh, these copper cores, you can bring these in as is and uh, get copper motor price, which is about 10 to 15 cents a pound. However, there are ways to get this copper out and I will actually do that in a future video to get that copper, especially with the price of number two copper. Um, so stay tuned for that. The outer shell here, this is also gonna go into tin shred because it is ma magnetic. So some more tin shred, but a nice copper core. And I have seen some copper cores out of here, uh, obviously larger, some of them that have um, a bunch of spools of copper around it. It depends on the make and model, but again, it does have copper value and definitely scrap value. There's also on the side on one of these, there's always right here, there's um, gonna be a small motor that connects as well. A little hose connector that is gonna be yellow brass right here. I just have to take it out of the screws. Here's some more tin shred. These do also have copper in them as well. And I actually have a video opening these up. Very simple to do. Um, there is copper in there. Um, if you do not wanna waste the time doing that, you can still put these into your copper bearing motor pile as well and get the 10 to 15 cents a pound. But definitely wanna get that brass. The other items on the doors, I did have three more silver contacts. So definitely wanna make sure you check. Here are some little mechanisms with some brass prongs. If I turn these over or turn them around, you can see inside of there, those are gonna have some copper as well as those buttons. As you can see, I'm clicking it there. There's gonna be some silver contacts in there. I could just see the one dot where my finger is. So more silver. These ones, like you find these on microwaves, gonna have silver in these as well. Um, and definitely wanna open this to get the brass. This is, these are copper um, prongs here, so wanna make sure you put that into your copper as well. But some really nice little copper trinkets as well. Um, the last thing that I do wanna talk about is the legs and the bar. If I turn this, you can see it does have right here a steel shell. It is just um, ha uh, uh, attached with screws. I had to use an Allen wrench for that. But the nice thing is all I'm gonna do to open it is once I take these screws out, I will just take an angle grinder, just cut down once, just right in piece here, and it will actually fold. You can see right here, very simple, all I did was cut it in half. There is my box right here. All right, so just took a simple grinder, bent it off, it comes off. And again, this is other pieces of tin shred. I'm just gonna put it off to my side here. And I am gonna turn the camera, you can see my pile of tin shred here, really adding up, okay? 
The other thing on the door, you're going to see the springs. These are all parts of it. The tracks, I do want to get back to the tracks inside that hold the baskets. These tracks, you definitely want to put a magnet to them. I have seen them stainless steel. These ones, unfortunately, are magnetic, so these are still going to go into my tin or shred pile. Okay, the wheel thing here, yes, there is a lot of plastic on here, but I'm not even going to touch that plastic because these ends are magnetic, so there is still tin shred on here. As well, my bottom panel here is tin shred. So I actually, from this dishwasher, I actually have 33 pounds of tin. I have, uh, what did I say, 18, I think 18 pounds of plastic, unfortunately, right here. Um, and again, this, given the thickness of this, it may go into my recycle. It depends, tomorrow's uh, garbage day, recycle day. Hopefully, um, they deem it as thick enough. Again, it depends on your municipality, but um, a great item. It only took me about 20 minutes to take it all apart. As I said, at 30 pounds of tin shred, there's $3 compared to if I was to get 50 pounds of two cents a pound, you know, a dollar there. But again, as I said, I also have all my copper from this. I have my transformer. I have my motor. I have definitely my appliance wire that's going to be up in my value a couple dollars for sure. And all in all, again, easy to take apart and a good scrappable item. So excellent question. Please keep them coming. Yes, in my opinion, anything, if you can get it on your vehicle, and even if not, you know, there are definitely pieces that you can easily quickly remove from the side of the road uh, and use as scrap money. Um, so they all have value. So again, thanks for the question. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.